We're back at Cascadia Public House in Spokane. Energetic, lively, and fun, this bar is the perfect spot to hang out, relax, and have a good time. I live close, so I'm here all the time. Far more than I can count. Like, once every couple weeks. <laughs> Sometimes more. You come in here, they're super friendly, they always know your name. It's my favorite place. We've kind of uh, classified ourselves as kind of Northwest Gastropub. I don't know if that's a real term or not, but that's, 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 <laughs> that's what we've been what telling people. That's what we're calling it. Yep. <laughs> Owner and chef Justin Oliveri takes pride in keeping the menu locally sourced. Kind of our theme has been uh, sourcing as close to Spokane as possible with focus on sustainability for the future. It's just the only place like it that's comfortable and fun, has great food. Really nice locally sourced beer and the ingredients. I will try something new every time I come here and everything's good. Do you think that you know using ingredients that are closer to you, does it affect how the food tastes? I think so. I think uh, just fresher and uh, just knowing that the environmental impact on getting that food to the restaurant uh, was lessened by the fact that their transportation is, is, isn't as far. Everything they cook back here is, is pretty fantastic. I have not eaten anything here that I have not liked. Now it's time to get into the kitchen to make some of Cascadia's famous pretzels. This looks like great dough. Yeah, so the dough, um, we start in the morning first thing. It's got to get done before we open, so first thing, it's a few hour process to kind of get the dough from start to finish. The base of the dough, though, is shepherd's grain. Good Washington grown wheat going in there. Yep. So what do we do? So this is one pretzel here. Yep, take the dough ball and just kind of roll it in our hands first. Try to kind of elongate it a little bit, kind of flip it around. So what's the learning curve on this with some of your employees when they learning for the first time. I would say a few months, probably. <laughs> oh, and here <laughs> I have to do yeah. it on camera? Yeah. What's wrong with this picture? That should work Is as that well. okay? Yep, so okay. we're gonna get it kind of on the cutting board, and we're just gonna kind of start moving it around, kind of getting out those big spots. Is there a key to making a good pretzel? I would say it definitely is gonna start out with kind of the ingredients that are going into it. It's gonna be yeah. kind of the most ideal start, and then just the I think the procedure is very important, making sure that the yeast is proofed before okay. you before you mix it, sure. and then make sure that it gets a real good knead, and that's looking about there. Okay. Perfect, so I think the easiest way first is to kind of grab it by the ends and just kind of go like that, and then we're gonna cross it, and then we're gonna twist, and then fold it back, and then I kind of pick it up about oh, right there. Look at that, it's a pretzel. Do it like that. And then they uh, finish kind of rising once they go back in the cooler. Sure. There'll be a little bit more like puff up. So any of these uh, imperfections or anything like that's yeah. gonna, gonna come out of it. Yum. You finished that one really fast, so I need to step up my game. And with pretzels, are they just baked? We throw ours in the fryer. In the fryer, okay. Which kind of makes it a uh, kind of a- Extra special. In, in between of a pretzel, donut, fry bread, kind of all, Which is all into one. all delicious. Yep. Do I get one more? Yeah, get, Am I get lapping you? Get to work. <laughs> you are lapping me. Might have you do the rest of the batch. There we go. Yeah. Look at that beauty. They look okay, great. Okay, so what's next? Next, they're going to go in the fryer. Oh, okay. After the pretzels are done frying, Justin sprinkles some salt over the top and serves it with a beer cheese mixed with stone ground mustard. This looks delicious. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Might be a little warm. Oh my gosh. They're so light and crispy. You know, sometimes yep. pretzels can be real dense. Yeah, they're pretty, yeah, they're definitely fluffy, and I think that's like a little second rise while they're in the pan after sure. we rolled them. Kind of puffs them up a little bit, and then. Oh, those are so good. I'm just gonna keep eating. Thank you so much for yeah. showing me these things. Yeah. I love it. To get the recipe for Cascadia's pretzels, visit wagrone.com.